with 10 on the play clock. Goff throwing for it, and it's Cephas who can't haul that one in. Eric Stokes, the rookie corner on the coverage. I understand why Dan Campbell went after because Quintez Cephas has been someone who's been very good as far as winning the one-on-ones. But up here, these are the matchups I'm looking for right here. St. Brown and Hawkinson. You see St. Brown against Chandon Sullivan, or rather against Adrian Amos, his safety. He had it. He was wide open. And look, sometimes I think quarterbacks... Prescott and the boys off to a tremendous start. Had a thrilling victory over the Chargers yesterday in Los Angeles. See you from Arlington, Texas next Monday night. Cephas on the receiving end. That's two good plays by Eric Stokes. On Quintez Cephas, one-on-one, -on -one, first round draft pick out of Georgia. We came out in the draft this year. He's one of the best press corners in college football last year, and he's showing it tonight. Yeah. This guy can play some man-to-man -man coverage. And I can tell you this, Kevin King, look out. Yeah, that's that's the reason he's in there right now, right? Packers in this franchise's history here at Lambeau Field. With the rain coming down, Lions will go on fourth and three. Goff will heave one to the end zone, and it's knocked away. Wanted Trinity Benson and Eric Stokes was there to make sure it didn't happen. There's the first rounder again. This is a guy who is long, long limb, super fast. You see here, he's just playing a little bit of a catch off man technique where he's just kind of sitting and squatting on the route, but you see how strong he plays at the catch point. That's something that he's very good at. That's something you have to be good at in the NFL. And I'm just telling you, Jerry Gray, their defensive back coach, who I knew from way back when he... Four-man rush. Garoppolo fires, and that's broken up, intended for Samuel. The rookie, the top draft pick, all those things, watch him. He's going to get right in the hip pocket here of Devo Samuel, and that is perfectly done. Get his head around, get away with a little hand. I think they might have a chance today, Jim. I think it's a close game. First down throw. It's complete to Deontay Johnson, who they have back. Third and five. Incomplete for the Steelers. Picked off. Picked up by Stokes. You see just getting the depth there. Stokes coming down with it. I mean, I, there's nothing better to say than just not a great decision. Obviously, it's the end of the game. And so you need to throw the ball so you don't, you don't fault the guy for that. Heineke for McLaurin. Knocked away. And a turnover on downs as the rookie Eric Stokes broke. When you come back. The well, best against best here on fourth down. McLaurin working against Stokes, who made the play. Just look at the technique. See how Stokes never gets on top of him. So what they say is stay in his back hip, meaning stay underneath the wrist chunk. I know it's hard versus this soft zone coverage, but got to try to get a chunk. Looking for it. Wants McLaurin. Over his head. Stokes right there with him. You just feel like they're going to have to get the ball at least some down the field. Murray overthrows his receiver down in week five. Gargantuan playoff implications for this one with regard to seeding. Packers leading by 10 and on first down rolling out to his left. Run for the end zone and get tackled. He's got to throw it right now or out of bounds. Going for the big ball. Going deep. And no flag. It's a great decision by Russell Wilson. Touchdown defense, right? They're not playing their Hail Mary defense. So you got a chance to go one on one. The clock will stop. It's a touchdown or nothing. Campbell. Two set of downs. And on first down, looking end zone. Now throwing it. And incomplete. Stokes right there comes flying in, makes the ball go low and away. It's a great job by Russell getting out there. Just a bit outside. You know, to be smart and get the ball out. But I think he wants to get into a rhythm and start to feel and get some reps. Let's get a little uh, hurry up experience again. It's been a while. Almost has that picked off as Stokes jumped in front and batted it down. 
There's that secondary. What I think was the difference in the game today was that these guys were able to guard for a long time. And a lot of teams oh, use this formation. Cousins a throw. This time oh, hand oh, blocks. Oh. Cousins going deep. There's no one there. And that was looked like it was almost intended for Stokes. Cousins taps it going deep, incomplete. Osborne was the intended receiver, but Stokes was on him like glue. Nice coverage here by Stokes. Try to get him on a double move with Osborne, but he does a nice job getting back into position. First down, two minutes to go, no timeouts. Higby is nearly picked by Eric Stokes. This one, they almost lost Stafford on this play. Kingsley Kiki, he comes through. I mean, he just barrels his way back there. Flip underhand. Go. Three more yards. He's a 200 for the night. When it come here, it will not. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. And it will be fourth down. I'll tell you, there are. Third and 13, Fields going for the end zone. And incomplete. Robinson is there in the corner. Stokes covering on the play. Bears beat the Packers 52 to 31. Eric Stokes runs a 4.25 40, has a 51.5 completion percentage, which is the best of all 64 players that have 50 targets. That guy is going to be great. And Devontae Adams, being the old pro receiver he is, he beats it. Hotly throws incomplete with Marquise Brown, the target. League, especially with the COVID, a lot of coaches have to do some adjustments. Here's Brown. He's wrapped up immediately by Eric Stokes, who's gotten better and better. And by the way, Jair Alexander. Pass is caught. Dangerous throw with Stokes closing on it, but complete to Marquise Brown for four. They'll let this get to the two-minute warning, but yeah, Stokes, that, that wasn't worth the risk for sure. Six again on Sunday night. He's been terrific. Huntley throws, pass caught, Brown on first and ten with under eight to go. He's 1-0 as a starter, and they were looking forward to seeing what he'd do today. Huntley, that was a good defensive play made by the rookie Eric Stokes as he got his hand in front of Marquise Brown. What a good play. Great play because this is Marquise Brown with the speed that he has. That's that's hard. I mean, that is really hard to do with that route to pivot and be able to. Huntley, pass is broken. Hand on it, it looked like. Yeah, I think he did, Joe. They're trying to body up Stokes with Andrews, and and it's the right idea. But but Savage comes across, and he gets just enough.